Good day, folks. Welcome back to My Neck of the Woods. My name is Dika, where I share my experience, my knowledge, hoping to lessen your learning curve. So today I have a product review on a, um, a surf bag that I bought um, last season, and I used it all last season. I probably made close to 50 trips to the beach, and it's been submerged and it's been beat up, and uh, now it's time for me to do a review on it. It's the Shimano Blue Wave Surf Bag, and I believe this is the medium size. Um, you can go on the website and you can see um, they really only have one size, but I, I think at one point in time they had a large size, a small size, and a medium size. But now the Blue Wave, is for, if you just stick, stick into the Blue Wave, it just has one size, which has three tubes inside, all right? Before I get started with my review, please sub my channel, like my videos, make some comments, all right? Okay, so the Blue Wave Surf Bag, um, it's, um, this is the medium size, and I personally don't think I need anything bigger. I'll show you the outside specs. It has a, um, a strap here. Uh, most times I would just strap it right on myself where it hangs right to the side of me, and any ease, any, any type I needed a new lure or needed to change or anything like that, it was very easy to get to, and it wasn't a problem. It, it, it was never a problem, in fact. Um, I've been knocked in the water many times. This has been submerged, and everything seems to be working just as good as um, it did when I, when I first bought it. Um, as you can see, I mean, it, it's dirty and it's been beat up. Um, I, I haven't washed it or anything like that, so it's been exposed to the salt water. Um, in the back, you have something if you want to put it on a belt. I think that would be very difficult based on the weight. Um, there's another clip back here. On the sides, there's a place where you can put um, some... Uh, Pliers, which I did, I had pliers there, and another pocket over here, and at one point in time I had like a boga fish grip in there. All right, so let's open it up, see what we got. There are some pockets in the front. I never really used them. There's this one in the front here. Um, it's really tight. You can't really put much in there. <coughs> Excuse me. And then this one, as you can see, the Velcro is still working great. This one, I did put some swivels and I put some hooks and um, some of those um, tactical or angler clips, I put some of them in there. All right, so let's open it up. Uh, oh, one thing I do want to mention before I get started. Um, a lot of people complained that this mechanism right here gave away or broke. I have had zero problems. It's not even remotely corroded. Everything's made of plastic, except for this. And then on this side, it's the same thing. But some people have complained that they've put um, uh, zip ties in here and I've had no problems with it. Granted, I've only used it for one season, but I was out there a lot, and I used it a lot. All right, so open it up. I'm going to take it apart here. Try to give you an idea of the breakdown of what it looks like inside. So I've got bucktails. It has three good-sized tubes in there. It has a divider, and then another sort of, sort of pockets here where you can put um, bucktails and whatnot in there. The only thing that I found that were difficult to store in here were your soft plastics where that hook kind of falls in the middle there. But as far as hooks catching on things or um, getting stuck on the fabric, it doesn't really happen. Uh, the, the fabric that it's made of, it, it, it's a very tough um, material that uh, doesn't allow for the hook to get stuck in it. All right, so here, I'll, I'll show you what I got in here. So I have that small plastic in there. I have, I've got a little bucktail in there. I've got another bucktail right in there. I had some eels in there. Those are, I had some bucktails in there. One, two, three. I, I like bucktails. I fish with bucktails a lot. And then as far as the tubes, the tubes were very easy to get out of. And so when I looked at some reviews and I looked at some pictures on which surf bag I wanted to get. This one just stuck out at me and I didn't know that they had a model with the tubes before I went on the website. They have one where it has four square plastic pieces and a lot of people had trouble with that. So uh, with the tubes, you know, they just have the hooks in there, you know, whatnot. You know, that's a, your Zori swimmer. Uh, there's a lip. I think that's a Gibbs, it might be a Tsunami, that's a Gibbs lift baby. And I could put about two, two at the most if they're, if they're large plugs like that or lures, but sometimes you could fit three in there. And a lot of them that I, I change out the uh, inline hooks so they just fit right in there. You know, 
if you want, this one even has a leader on it, leaders and all, they all fit in there fine. So you can see that I have, that's a um, Mag Daughter. Uh, this is a uh, Pumba um, Walker, that's what it's called. Um, this is also a Pumba, Pumba Pencil, and I think that's another Yozori um, swimmer, uh, Hydro Minnow, Yozori Hydro Minnow. So I had, I think I still have some eels in there too. I do, and an eel. So you can see how much I have in there. So I had, I'll put them all back in just for the sake of demonstration. So I have a, the Mag Daughter, and then I had a Uzori Hydro Minnow. Put that in there too. That one's got a leader attached to it. Um, this is a Pumba. Oops, stuck everything here. Let's see if I can get this one. This is that. Uh, I think it's like I, I think this is a tsunami. Tsunami. We'll put that in there. Um, then we have the eel and whatnot. This is the uh, Pumba uh, Walker. I saw also have the Magnum Walker. Uh, that that fits in there too. You can see how everything sort of slides in there. Not a problem. Um, see if I can get this out here. Another um, Yozori Hydro Minnow, the uh, 150. That one's a little bigger. Goes right in. And then this is a big bait too. This is the uh, a Pumba Pencil. We'll throw that in there too. And I found that there was no issues uh, getting them in or out. Oh, see, now I'm having issues, of course. No issues really getting them in or out. You kind of have to match the big ones. See, I put two giant ones in that same spot there. So we just have to match them a little bit better. So, take them apart here. Put that Pumba pencil in with the uh, either the mag dart or one of the uh, swimming ones there. Yeah, much better. And I found that the ease, so when this is on me, right, you got the gist of it, right? So when this is on me, right, hopefully I can do this sort of sitting down here. So I have this on me, right, and it's hanging off to the side. I would we'll probably be through. Oh my goodness, I can't even do it. <laughs> there we go. It would be like something similar to that. It would be hanging down off the side of me, and I can almost use it as like a table. So it's just hanging right there, and I can open this up. I have my rod with me, and I'm, it's very easy to get at. And it's, it was durable. It didn't fall apart. Um, I personally don't need any more than what this is. But overall, for as far as a review, I recommend it. I recommend it. It holds, what is that, one, two, uh, two, two plugs per. So that's two, four, six, uh, a plethora of large uh, soft plastics like the... Uh, Savage Gear sand deals or whatever type of sand deal you're going to use. And then upwards of, I mean, I had, let me see, try to get you a good look here. I had one, two, three, four, five, six, I have eight bucktails in there. But you can fit another two there. And then at least another couple more over here. Um, they're, they're relatively easy to get out of them. You know, you just kind of watch yourself with your hooks and you just sort of pull them out like so. This is a, uh, I think that's a Spro, two ounce bucktail. Um, I didn't find, although like some of the some of the lures and plugs and everything, they're heavy, you know, two ounces. And if you got a bunch of them, the, the weight adds up. But this carries pretty well on your shoulder. And as far as getting knocked over with waves or even if you're wearing waders or anything like that, it doesn't seem to be a problem and it doesn't seem to be falling apart. You know, it's mesh on the bottom, so any, any type of water or anything goes through. And the tubes, they have holes on the bottom also. It's a good product um, if you're interested in one this size. Um, there's a, I saw a lot of guys out there that ones were huge or even guys just carrying like the five-gallon buckets and they're all situated around on the rim that's that's it's kind of a, a good idea but when you're in the water and you're in the surf a surf bag i think is the way to go um i'm i'm, I'm not sure I'm, I'm relatively new at surf casting this I, i've been doing it for about five or six years now but i get more and more into it um every season uh, i i find that i'm more of a bait fisherman but I, I do still fish with the plugs, so this will probably sit on my um, my cart that I'm going to build. And uh, I'll, I'll show you a video of that. All right?
So all I have for you, the Shimano Blue Wave Surf Bag, it's a good product. I, I have nothing bad to say about it, um, unless you want more storage. You know, then you'd have to go bigger. All right, that's all I got for you. Sub the channel. I'll talk to you guys later. Be well.